Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of December 6th through December 13th for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then usually again on either Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can of course check a different part of your chart. You can check back on the channel in a couple of days, or you could even check uh, a reading you haven't seen before that if the title speaks to you, all right? The readings really are timeless. So I'd also like to, if you haven't subscribed yet, invite you to join us and subscribe. That will help you too to know when new readings are posted. So let's get the guidance please for Virgo. What messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Virgo need to know here? Okay. Whoa. All right. Let me just do one more. Okay. So we'll do our tarot reading here, then we'll do an angel answers oracle card reading. You can ask a yes, no question and timeline on those. You begin with the hermit, the two of wands, the queen of pentacles, and the sun. You've got the queen of wands, justice, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, beautiful reading. And the Ace of Wands. Wow, this is powerful. You have two Queens, three Major Arcana, and two Aces. This is a big deal. You are definitely moving forward here. And it's like you're in this, you do have your own energy here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you're moving forward in this like synergy with the universe, with the sun. I mean, it's beautiful. This is like, bam, there's... Whatever it is that you are asking about is yours for the taking here. I mean, this is a big deal. Um, so you have here Virgo, Leo, Libra, um, uh, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. You got actually have quite a bit of fire in this reading. So it's really about taking action moving forward. And you do have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I like the balance between the Earth and the fire here for you. So it begins with you, Virgo, with the Hermit card here. It begins with you in this Earth School of Self-Mastery. Meditate, quiet your mind. If you have extra time, you know, maybe instead of binge watching Netflix, read some spiritual teachings or watch some videos on YouTube from somebody you've always, you, Michael Beckwith comes to mind, don't know why, but maybe you think, you know, I've always kind of wondered about him or I heard something of his, you know, that sort of thing. The hermit, though, is a shaman, and it's he lights the path for the fool, for the soul. It's your guide. It's your inner guru here speaking to you and telling you that you are on the right path. So for some of you, you definitely have a new chapter in love, and there's for some others of you with work, too, with money, new chapter in, in money. And it may be money that comes in unexpectedly, but with this hermit energy, um, it really is about you being one with who you really are that, you know, allowing yourself to merge with the universe. So loving the universe. And so with this, you have this two of wands. And so for some of you, you may have turned your back on the past and you're taking an inventory, looking out ahead, setting goals. And with the ace of pentacles and ace of wands here, any goals that you set are yours for the taking. He holds this world in his hands, but he wants a bigger world. So it's really about success. It's about going for it. So in terms of a relationship, there could be a reconciliation here with that Ace of Wands, especially if it's a fire sign. I do feel like they've stayed loyal to you. They haven't been dating other people. They haven't been doing anything else. But this may have been you turning your back on them and looking for something else, wondering what else is out there, not being willing to make a commitment. Could be the other person too. But I do feel a return. There is a return of that love. Now for others of you, it may be a new love too. And it'll be very passionate. It's um this energetic connection that's just, like I said, the synergy. It's alive and it's beautiful and it's it's exciting you know this is a, a very in terms of in terms of a reading it's certainly not boring <laughs> 
So you have the Queen of Pentacles here, and here you are in your own energy. It really is you looking your best, feeling your best, feeling aligned with universe, really feeling like you can't catch a struggle. Things are going forward in the direction because you take one step and the universe takes two. So the Queen of Pentacles is ushering in quite a bit of money here for you. So for some of you, if you've got some kind of a small business, you may have had, uh, you know, kind of a boom during the holidays, people wanting to support small businesses, or you may have an idea for something new. And it feels like you're really using your ability with detail here. Your detail oriented ways are such an asset. You have a facility for whatever this is. And it brings in new growth all around you. For some of you, too, it may be about taking care of your house, like um, that you've had some extra money and are doing some things to spruce the place up. And it's really wonderful. I feel like people come in and say, I don't want to get up and leave. I love being here. I love the energy here. And that's you. You are vibrating at this high frequency place that you are emanating this awesome energy everywhere you go. And you may find that people do things like randomly buy your coffee in the Starbucks line, or you get these huge discounts. You've been wanting to do something and you think, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go finally buy this thing and it's 50% off, you know, and it's like a big thing, right? It's it's really bringing in, you know, those those things that seem almost unattainable. That's what it is. It's like you've got this energy where nothing is out of your reach. And with the sun, what a beautiful card to have. Again, very high vibrational frequency card. And it's, you know, this unconditional relationship with life. You're not, your ego is not in charge here anymore. Your spirit guides the way. And so there are no disappointments for you, Virgo. That's our, our ego that gets attached to the outcome. And really our pain is commensurate with how much is our ego in charge. You're free here. You are walking free in this card, in the sunlight of the spirit. And there's nothing really, there. there's nothing to be afraid of. When you have this kind of a reading, go out, seize the day. I don't care if you say, you know, I don't have a lot really, but that's okay. Be out in the community and walk tall and proud like you do, because that's how it comes in. Really feeling like you have it, feeling that. It's a card of, this is a card of great victory and success. So in a relationship, it's such a breath of fresh air, whoever this is. If it's a return of love, it's the thing that you've been wanting. You know, it really has been in your heart in wanting this to happen. But if it's a new love, it's somebody who really sweeps you off your feet. And, um, God, I got this song from Aladdin. I think it is A Whole New World. Um, the Magic Carpet Ride. I don't know why, but it really is like this sweeps you off your feet kind of energy. And... It's a union. It's something that's pure positivity. It's an excellent energy to have around you. So anything, again, that you you want to do, I mean, even when you look at this card, this little androgynous baby rides this horse, right? And the sunflowers, don't they don't point towards the sun. They point at the baby because the baby commands such authority. So it's you really knowing that you can have, do, or be anything. And the Queen of Wands comes in to tell you that you have loyal people around you. You have people who are going to run the distance with you. And there's passion here too, though, especially when you get into this Ace of Wands. I don't always point this out, you know, because it's a bit, you know, I don't know. It's not for everybody. But the, this Queen is a very sexual Queen. She sits with her her knees apart. And that was intentional when they created the card to... Um, indicate her sexual desires and so for somebody here this is a very passionate very passionate relationship but be clear about what you want because otherwise it could turn into some kind of sex thing I'm just telling you um, if that's not what you want be very clear about that with the universe and with this person so it doesn't turn into something that you don't want it to be um, but with the queen of wands again she does have she does have loyal people around her. So for you, you are attracting good people. It's not really a risk as much as, like I said, I mean, it's human nature. Maybe somebody misreads a, a situation and just knowing what you want. So meditate with that hermit energy. There you are. Guide yourself. Let your inner guru be your guide and know, know that you can have, do, or be anything. So the Queen of Wands too is very successful in terms of any kind of business ventures. Like I said before, or even too, for some of you, if you're going to school, 
it may you may have some kind of shortcut that presents itself like something where you meet with an advisor and you have less credits that you need to take than you originally realized i get that and it's probably for one person on here but with the justice card you've had this before and i feel like it's represented different things than it does in this reading this really is the absolute truth it's seeing yourself as everything you were meant to be, everything that you were put on this earth to do, really knowing that if you have a life, you have a purpose here. And it's this purpose-driven card. It's Libra energy, but it's also the universe. The universe loves balance and the universe loves speed. And it brings in this balance for you. So if you turned your back on something with that two of wands, you may see now the purpose of that, why you needed to do that, and that the universe is kind of giving you credit for all the things that you've been doing, you know, whether it's focusing on your nutrition, body, fitness, focusing on your business, focusing on education, volunteering, giving things to other people. If somebody screwed you over in the past, they may be coming up short and Again, I don't think you're going to turn around to lend a hand to them, but it will be somewhat satisfying. I hate to say that, but it's true. Um, so allow the allow justice to be served in this case, um, because boy, are you coming out on top. So you've got the, the Ace of Pentacles. It's a new chapter, a new beginning. This is prosperity in many areas, love, money, physical health it really is an awesome card and it also is a card of luck now I'm always a little careful about the word luck because I feel like it's really about alignment but it feels like it it feels like you like I said you cannot catch a struggle here you just keep going forward and it's an awesome long-lasting change you know this is not a short-term you know, a couple of months I felt really good and now I'm back to where I was. This is long lasting energy that just carries you sort of like this hand carries the pentacle. This energy is carrying you. So in a new relationship, it is a life partner here. So I mentioned before, you do have some reconciliation prospects here with this Ace of Wands. This is an apology. It may not be a reconciliation though. For some of you, if you've got new love, you may have somebody from the past with that two of wands who comes back to apologize and just kind of clean things up. It feels more like a relative to me. If you've got new love and you've got some conflict with somebody, I do feel they're going to apologize. It might not be quite the same relationship that it was though. And I think that's going to be on you. I think you're just not going to be interested in you know, push-pull dynamics of a deranged family member. You know, it's like, well, okay, yep, no problem, but you're moving forward. And in terms of, like I said, any kind of business venture, this is really about taking action. It's starting that podcast. It's recording that song. It's writing that book. You know, it's opening that golf course for somebody. I don't know who the hell that is, but I see a golf course for some reason, and maybe it's just taking up a new hobby like golf. But this is anything new. It's really a, a charged energy here, very charged energy field around you. So what an awesome reading. You know, Virgo is my moon sign. I um, When I was reading, I was re just doing a general reading, but I should rewatch it myself maybe and see if any of this speaks to me because it's really an incredible lineup of energy and cards here. Especially if you've been kind of feeling a little bit stuck in a rut. You're not going to be for long. So you have here a timeline, please, for Virgo. And a yes, no, maybe for Virgo. It's up to you. I mentioned that at the end, didn't I? So if, if there's something here some unfinished emotional business in a relationship. I think it's going to be you leading the tone of that, setting the tone of that. You've got a golden opportunity. It's in the tarot here too. There's something big here for you and capitalize on it, seize it, take it. They're offering it to you for a reason. You put in the work, you paid the price of contrast. Now it's your time. It's your time. So believe that meditation brings answers. The hermit's here for a reason. So if you're not big into meditating, now would be a great time to start. Just give it 10 minutes a day. Listen to an ambient sound in the environment. Clear your mind. Allow the thoughts to drift away. And allow yourself to become anything. You've got within the next few months as a timeline. You've got an emphatic yes. And I really was careful about getting cards from the middle here. 
So they want you to see this. You hold the sun in one hand and the moon in the other because you're the center of your reality. You are creating your reality. So there's a great energy here for you, Virgo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.